Nitrogen is offered as an alternative to air for tire inflation. But is it right for you? When should you use normal air to nitrogen? Let's find out in this video. Tires are designed and built to provide many miles of excellent service, but must be properly maintained. The key element of proper tire maintenance is maintaining the recommended tire inflation pressure. The proper tire inflation pressure is recommended by the vehicle manufacturer and can be found on the vehicle's tire placard or in the vehicle owner's manual. All gases expand when heated and contract when cooled and tire inflation pressures are no different. Tire inflation pressure can rise and fall with changes in ambient temperature by about 1 psi, pound per square inch, for every 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Now why is nitrogen used? Is it any better to handle inflation pressure? In its pure form, nitrogen has been used primarily because it doesn't support moisture or combustion. Nitrogen is an inert, non-flammable, gas, basically, nothing more than dry air with oxygen removed. In fact, ambient air contains about 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% miscellaneous gas. Because of nitrogen's inert properties, it is often used in highly specialized tire service applications or demanding environments. These tire service applications usually include aircraft, mining, and commercial or heavy use. Also, nitrogen is used in professional auto racing where extreme vehicle speeds are involved. Dry nitrogen is used in this regard to help reduce tire pressure variations where even small differences in pressure can affect vehicle handling at the extreme limits of performance. But here is the answer you are looking for. For normal everyday consumer tire service applications, nitrogen tire inflation is not required. However, nitrogen tire inflation does not harm tires and may marginally contribute to reductions in tire inflation loss by permeation. Nevertheless, nitrogen will not prevent any tire inflation loss caused by punctures, tire, rim interface leaks, valve leaks, V, wheel leaks, and other mechanical leaks. Whether inflated with air or nitrogen, regular tire inflation pressure maintenance remains critical and necessary. Use of nitrogen alone is not a replacement for regular tire inflation pressure maintenance. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to this channel to know more about such interesting facts.